A lot of folks in central Georgia are, of course, taking precautions, stocking up and plugging in just in case Florence sends something our way. That's right. One place where people are stopping in for emergency supplies, the Ace of Grey, where Abigasaurus joins us live. Yeah, Frank and Lori, Jennifer Davis, the manager here, says the people have been calling, trying to make sure that they have those hurricane prep supplies here at the Ace of Gray. One of the big items that they've been trying to ask for are flashlights and other generators. They just sold out of their last one, but they're receiving another shipment tomorrow. Now, I talked to one woman who says she lost power during Irma. She was thinking about buying one of those generators. Robin Brenneman is a woman on a mission, trying to get all the essential items in case Hurricane Florence hits central Georgia. I think last year was a good preparation for this year, so I'm even talking to my husband about trying to get a generator at the home if, it were, if we were to need that. She says last year they were without power for over a week, so this time she wants to be prepared. This is what we need. You have some people who they mention the word hurricane and they come in here and buy everything and then you have those who wait. Jonathan Chapman, employee of the Ace of Gray, says last year they ran out of supplies. Uh, sold out of flashlights, we sold out of all our generators, uh, chainsaws. Um, we are selling those. We even got rid of our rental ones. We haven't gotten Irma out of our head either. Last year, Irma shook the town, down trees, damaged the power lines. And Greg Mullis of the Tri-County EMC services, 80% of their customers were without power. We're really looking more of you know, the possibility that we may have outages here. So, you know, our crews are getting ready. We're making sure that our trucks and our crews and our warehouses are, you know, have the materials they need. He says there's no telling what this storm will do, but Brenneman says she wants to be prepared just in case another storm tears through the area. And Mullis says it's always better to grab those items just in case you need them. He says if you know anybody who relies on power, any family members maybe rely on dialysis to make a plan now just in case they do lose power. About 80% of those people here did lose power last year during Hurricane Irma. In Gray, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Abby. And if you'd like a list of emergency contacts to save into your phone in case you lose power, check out our website, 13WMAZ.com for that information.